Welcome back to Vision Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a social season. Now, this cocktail is perfect to get together with your friends and try out and do all sorts of kind of strange variations to it. So this is the perfect template for you to have a fantastic time. So let's get into it. Now, this is a seven ingredient cocktail that's going to be very simple to make and it is shaken, so grab your shaking glass. But before we actually get into this, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this lime in half and then cut a wedge out and squeeze in half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now, the next ingredient that we're going to use is a homemade passion fruit syrup. And what I will do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down for you, but we're going to use the same amount at half an ounce or 15 milliliters. The next ingredient that we're going to use is our good old fashioned Angostura butters. And what we're going to do is add one dash. Now this is going to be fantastic, but our next ingredient is going to be a pineapple mango juice. Now the original recipe calls for a straight pineapple juice. However, I do like the flavor that the mango imparts as well. So we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Beautiful. So we'll try and put that back. <laughs> Can't seem to put the lids on there properly. So we're going to begin with the first of our spirits and we're going to use yellow chartreuse. Now this is a herbal liqueur, absolutely fantastic, but we're not going to use a lot of it. This is just going to give us some herbal notes and we're going to use a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters. These herbal notes are really, really good. In fact, this is one of my favorite liqueurs. Now what we are going to do next is use another of my favorite aperitifs. Now this is Aperol and it is a great Italian bitter, but it's a little bit less bitter than Campari, which is fantastic, especially if you're just new into those. But we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. And the final spirit that we're going to use is gin. Now for this, I'm using a Beefeater London Dry Gin. Use whatever you like, and this is where you can really mix and match because certain gins, of course, will give you different types of flavors and different types of floral notes. But we're going to use a solid two ounces or 60 milliliters. All right, now our next step in this process is to actually shake this with some ice. However, what we are going to do is shake this with a little bit of crushed ice like so. We'll just give ourselves a bit more. And what we'll do is we will give this a whip shake. We don't want to overly dilute this, especially as the crushed ice will melt really, really fast. So basically give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Now what we are going to do is we are going to build this in a nice rocks glass. So what we will do is we will first fill this up halfway with some crushed ice, like so. Oops, a bit too much. You wanna make sure you leave it halfway because you wanna leave enough to get everything from your cup. And we're just going to free pour this in like so. Oh yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is fill the rest of this up with some crushed ice. Just give it a little bit of a mound, try not to make a huge mess everywhere. And then what we will do is we will garnish this with a lime, just sort of like that. Let's give it a try. Now immediately sticking my nose above it, I get the lime, but I get a little bit of the pineapple and a little bit of the Aperol. Let's try. Mm. That's really good. It's reminiscent sort of as a, uh, a Singapore sling. However, this has a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of herbaceous notes. The uh, mango pineapple juice is a great addition and there's some depth built in from the dash of the Angostura bitters. What I'll do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day.